Hey, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix FPS drop in Minecraft Android. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the most important settings that you have to be aware of if you want to get the best performance possible and increase your FPS when playing Minecraft Pocket Edition on an Android device. Keep in mind that, to my knowledge, this is also going to work for iOS. All that you have to do is First, make sure that you have the latest version available of Minecraft Pocket Edition. Afterwards, go over into any world, and I recommend that you do this inside of a world if you can. Go over to the settings, as you can see here, by tapping the three lines at the top of the screen, and then settings, and scroll down until you reach the video category. This is where you can change a lot of the settings related to graphics, which are going to affect your performance the most. So. First, you will see brightness, camera perspective, and most of these won't have a direct impact on your performance, so you can skip these because they are all going to be personal. I recommend that you increase the FOV because, to my knowledge, this also won't impact it much, so it's down to personal preference. However, when you get down to the bottom of this screen, there are going to be the various options that you should be aware of. So in here, these are the options that I was talking about. Rendering clouds will take up a little bit of FPS, so if you don't care about looking up to the sky and seeing the clouds, I recommend turning them off. Same thing with beautiful skies, it is going to lower the graphics, which in turn means better performance. Smooth lighting is another big one. Turning this off will make the game look significantly worse because the lighting around the world won't be as pretty, but of course, like I said multiple times, it gives you more performance. Fancy graphics, same thing, you will see the difference in leaves and glass and other items of the game, and this one is personal and won't affect your performance much, it's just how the FOV is affected. If you keep scrolling down, here you will find the last options related to graphics and performance. The render distance is going to be one of the biggest performance changes. Usually, you can leave it on recommended and that's going to be enough, but the lower you go, the better performance you will get. In turn, less chunks are going to be rendered in front of you, so if you are flying using an elytra, or if you go up to the top of a mountain and you try to look in the horizon, you won't see a lot of rendered rendered chunks, so it can make the game feel more empty and worse, but like I said, it is by far one of the biggest contributors to FPS. If you increase this, there's also going to be a warning on most devices. The high render distance could cause low frame rate, so don't go too high. Find where it says recommended, and you can consider going up maybe two spots, but I wouldn't go any higher. So by lowering this below the recommended amount, you are going to get a lot of performance. The last thing that I can recommend is to lower the max frame rate. This might seem weird because ideally you would want to have it unlimited, but if you notice that your FPS is fluctuating a lot, by locking it to a specific stable frame rate, the experience is going to feel much better. So, by changing all of these settings that I mentioned, you will notice a significant FPS difference. Although the game might look worse, in turn you will get a lot more FPS. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix FPS drop in Minecraft Android. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.